Hi, welcome to Midwest Outdoors here on beautiful Leech Lake in north central Minnesota. I'm Dana Pitt with the Leech Lake Tourism Bureau and I'm here on day one of the 2012 Leech Lake Walleye Tournament. Behind me taking off right now are 155 teams that are all vying for a piece of the $40,000 in cash and prizes. Let's stay tuned and see what happens today. Well, the boats are all out on the water fishing right now, and the crew in back of me is starting to set up the stage and get ready for the weigh-in this afternoon. Uh, the way this tournament runs is that each team is allowed one big fish over 26 inches a day, and they are also are allowed to weigh those things in before the end of the day. So if they catch one this morning, they can bring it in, get it weighed, get it released again safely. They don't have to try to keep it alive in the live well all afternoon. Right now, as you can see, the lake is flat calm. Leech Lake tends to be a wind-driven lake, especially the big part of the lake. Uh, when the fish are shallow and the wind kicks up, the bite really turns on. To, on a flat day like this, anglers tend to fish a little bit deeper. Right now, we're fishing or sitting on a, a main lake, deep rock hump. Uh, they're lindy rigging with big chubs, crawlers, leeches. Uh, they're trying a little bit of everything today. Leech Lake has a protected slot limit of 18 to 26 inches. Uh, as tournament rules say, they can keep one fish over 26 inches per team and then they can keep five under 18. Uh, so there's a little bit of strategy involved because the big fish and small fish do not necessarily sit in the same areas. Um, so you kind of got to make a, a call. Do you go after the big ones first? Do you go after the small ones first? It's always an interesting uh, dilemma for the teams. The team in back of us is pulling some, it looks like maybe crankbaits or possibly some spinners along a shallow, uh, weedy area of the lake. Uh, it looks like they're trying to cover a little bit of water. They've got three in the box right now. Um, covering water, I think, is the name of the game right now. It looks like people are struggling a little bit and they're just doing a lot of searching. One of the really cool things about Leech Lake is the variety of water here. Uh, the lake is broken up into a lot of different bays. Some are real shallow, some are real deep. And on the same day, you'll have people live bait rigging in 40 feet of water and catching fish. And just up the lake, they're catching them in six feet of water right in the weeds pitching jigs. So no matter what your favorite way to catch fish is, you can probably do it here all on the same day. was well, just a few minutes before the first flight comes in for weigh-in. Uh, with the conditions of bluebird weather we had today, um, high skies, not much wind, looks like it might have been kind of a tougher day, but the neat thing is there's always somebody that managed to put together a good bag. So let's go check it out. We had a lot of fish that were close to 26 inches. We had a lot of fish that just touched 18, so it, it, it was quite an adventure. All right, well, are you ready to go get them tomorrow? Yeah, I think we'll get the big one tomorrow. All right, very good, good luck. Where were the big fish today? Uh -huh. Good question. We left where we should have stayed and stayed when we should have left, I guess. So it was one of those days. A lot of fish over 25, but we couldn't get a 26. We didn't get our slots, so the ball's not lost yet, I guess. We're really proud of what we do with this tournament. This is our fourth year, and every year we have contributed a substantial amount of money to our local nonprofits. Um, today we've contributed about $35,000. Um, which is phenomenal. This year, um, our support's going to the Walker A Pregnancy Center, to the Walker um, Wolf Pride, which is an organization that students that can't afford the activity fees at the school for sports and extracurricular activities, we um, contribute to that, and to the Walker uh, Hackensack Akeley soccer team. We also, because the the Sportsman's Club has always helped us. We give a contribution to them. We will give a contribution to the Leech Lake Walleye Task Force. And we will also give a contribution to the Let's Go Fishing group who let us use their pontoon for the check-in and check-out. 
Our top three places after day one. In first place, team number 25, Dirkman and Dirkman, with 13.51 pounds. In second place is team number 74, Ruck and Ruck, with 11.61 pounds. And standing in third place is boat number 104, Woodward and Woodward, at 10.95 pounds. So that wraps up our top three standings after day one. Well, that's a wrap for day one of the Leech Lake Walleye Tournament. As you can see, it was a little bit tougher day today for the fishermen, uh, but considering the conditions, I think they did okay. A couple of the guys did real well. The one nice thing about a tight tournament like this is it's still anybody's game tomorrow. Anybody can come back. Uh, the weather forecast sounds a little bit different tomorrow, so that's going to change the game plan a little bit too. Stay tuned for more Midwest Outdoors. Right after the commercial, we'll conclude with day two of the Leech Lake Walleye Tournament. Welcome back to Midwest Outdoors. I'm Dana Pitt with the Leech Lake Tourism Bureau and it's day two, the final day of the Leech Lake Walleye Tournament. Our blue skies from yesterday have turned over to clouds and we've even had a few rain showers today, so that may change things up a bit. Let's go out in the lake and see how people are doing. Behind me is boat number 88, the team of Bayer and Klein. They've got a couple of fish under the slot in their box, but they're still looking for that elusive big one. We've had three or four big fish come into the weigh station already. Uh, the other people are left out here kind of scrambling around searching for that big fish that could put them back on the prize money. Behind me in the Warrior boat is a team of Chuck Barth and Perry Dreyer. You saw one big fish they held up, that was a 27-incher. They've also got five slots in the boat, so they're in real good shape going into the weigh-in. Most of the big fish and even a good majority of the, the smaller fish right now seem to be coming out of the deep water, probably due to the calm conditions we have here. These people out here, some of them are jigging with chiners, others are lindy rigging uh, with big minnows, crawlers, or leeches, uh, but deep water seems to be the key today. Although most of the field seems to be fishing deeper water today, this group in here is fishing some shallow water cabbage weeds. That's always a great option here on Leech Lake. Usually what they're doing here is they're pitching a jig in a shiner or sometimes long lining a jig in a shiner. Uh, but these cabbage weeds tend to hold fish all summer long. I'm about a mile from the weigh-in site now and there's less than an hour to go. It'll be interesting to see who puts together the best program today to claim that $13,000 grand prize. I'm going to head in now and see what happens. What are the rules of fishing? <sighs> no crying in the boat, <laughs> and, and it works. Is this your first time fishing, sir? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I had one right there at the end. It was just barely touching 18. I had to let it go. I just wasn't too confident on it. Looks about a 40-inch muskie. No, it's about a 15-minute battle, so that was a lot of fun to start the morning. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Probably went about 20, 25 pounds. And are you tougher? Mm -hmm. All right, Tucker, that's a huge walleye. Five zero two. Five zero two. Way to go. That's awesome. What'd you catch it on? I caught I caught it on a parrot jig head. Anywhere we went, we found fish. Well, you had a good catch two days in a row. We're gonna, it's going to be interesting to see how things shape up here. Well, I'm hoping that we're up there towards the top. It's just kind of fun to do it. <laughs> Come on. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
The teams are all in, the fish are all weighed, and the officials in the back are right now calculating who's going to be the winner of the $13,000 grand, grand prize, as well as all the other great prizes that this tournament is giving away. The crowd in the back is anxiously waiting, we should know in the next couple minutes. Well, we'd like to invite everybody back first weekend in June, uh, but get your registrations in early because this year we filled up by the 1st of March. So if you want to fish next year, and we want you to, uh, make sure you get those registrations in early. Go to leechlakewalleyetournament.com. And now our third place finisher with the winner of winners of $4,000. We have Ryan and Corey uh, Hilla. We have Harlow and Jason Piron. And they had a total of 19.11 pounds. For uh, $13,000, our first place finishers, and also winners of two Northland uh, fishing jackets and plaques, we have uh, Perry Dreyer and Chuck Bart. Well, there was no pattern. We found fish shallow, we found them deep. And when we couldn't get them on a spinner, we'd switch over to a jig. What we uh, couldn't get on there, we'd pull a few out with the jig, and it's pretty much what it what happened all day. The weather didn't affect us. Uh, we adapted to the uh, situation, being flat, calm. Uh, just went a little deeper, pull blades, and uh, do some deep uh, jigging. And uh, on the other hand, we went to the other side of the coin and went very shallow. Uh, find our fish in the weeds and the rocks bowl, so. Well, that's a wrap for the 2012 Leech Lake Walleye Tournament. Congratulations to the winning team of Chuck Barth and Perry Dreyer, two awesome fishermen that do very well on this lake, and it was a, a good win for them. I also would like to invite you all to come up and take advantage of this great fish we have up here. In addition to that, we have a lot of things for the families to do. We have biking, hiking, a lot of dining, shopping, and over 28 resorts and lodging facilities around the lake. Check out the website at the bottom of the screen for more information. I'm Dana Pitt with the Leech Lake Tourism Bureau. Stay tuned for more Midwest Outdoors.